it's just like you don't play as Keanu Reeves at all. I was tight. I even I even played that shit. I didn't even know how to play that shit, bro. I was tight. You could either be Jada Pinkett or the other guy. I can't remember his name. <laughs> the Asian dude. The word. But speaking of the Matrix, they say that we are trapped in the Matrix. And that easily goes into our next topic. Thank you, Marshall. Do you believe in conspiracy theories? What is your favorite? Cinema since the dawn of time has been trying to tell us something. An underlying truth through entertainment. And conspiracy theories are some of the things that they blatantly express or sometimes leave scattered through pop culture. And for us, the entertainers and the entertainees to decipher the truth. Marshall, that's your topic. So I want you to elaborate more on All right. conspiracy theories and films. Well, since the first Trump election, um, I'm not going to say anything more from that, but since then, there's this big group called QAnon. They spawned off from 4chan, and uh, they are basically an alignment of people who decided there's something wrong with the system, and we're all going to come up with our own ideas of what it is, and those are what we know as conspiracy theories. And I decided to say, why not discuss which ones would make good films or not? So um, obviously, one of the first ones that we could talk about would be the vaccines. You know, that was a big issue because people would always say, oh, you know, they can make you autistic, or at least they would make your children autistic. But I if you go back, when you said vaccine, that automatically puts me in the mind of X-Men 3, because you remember in X-Men 3, they had the shot mm -hmm. that you could take to take away your mutant. So they've been scattering the truth throughout films a long time. And guess what? They do it to films that would, how they know that people all are going to watch. Yeah. So go on, go on, go on. I, I figured that one specifically could work if you did it in a way where it's not about uh, turning people autistic, but you use it as a form of bioweapon, kind of like the uh, Tuskegee experiments, mm -hmm. where all these black people were injected with syphilis, and we were told that it was something else entirely. Um, you know, population control. Uh, we could. Yeah, do are y'all are y'all anti-vaxxers? No, I would vaccinate. If I need to, you know. Me too. Like, you know what I mean? If it's between life or death, then obviously. But if left up to my own devices, um, nah. I'm going to do what my grandmama did. All right, Peter Shirley. Sit in the bed, drink some ginger ale. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Um, absolutely. All right, Peter, her. But, uh, yeah. Make it more so about that as opposed to just attacking autism. The next one could be uh, JFK Jr. secretly being alive. If you're able to tell that story as like a, a Machiavellian like play where you know he faked his death and then just comes back out of nowhere and he's like this head villain of a bunch of big people. That'd be a very interesting film. I think he should also make like a um, um, cut his hair like bald and get like a bandana and make uh, Me Against the World. <laughs> <laughs> the rare me moment cut the troll. <laughs> JFK Jr., baby. What's up? <laughs> Instead of like in a presidential car, it's like the same car, the same thing with Shug. Big ass, big ass shit next to him. <laughs> I'll be my man. I'll be weak. I'll be so weak. Um, of course, they could also do one about Christopher Paul. He was the guy that created 4chan. And as I said before, 4chan is what would eventually be like the birthplace of QAnon. So, and not only was that the birthplace of QAnon, but there was an attack on Scientology that they led. Mm -hmm. um, there was the fappening 
where all these celebrities' nudes had gotten leaked out onto the internet. And of course, uh, Pizzagate, where some deranged fool thought a pizza store in DC had children in their basement and he came there with guns just to realize it was a broom closet. Um, and that in itself could be its own movie. All right, so here's my thing. <sighs> like, if you go down the hole of like crazy conspiracy theories, I think every conspiracy theory has like a surface coating of truth to it. Yeah. But then as you pull back and you get to see a lot of it is just pure bullshit that's just been passed yeah. around from story to story and generation to generation. Like, so I had a talk with one of my friends not too long ago and we talked about how like one of the biggest things that they're trying to get us to see is depopulization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, because there are people, higher ups, that believe that the earth is too crowded and we need to find a way to get rid of half of the population. And what, what last big box office film dealt with depopulization? The snap. Everybody got dusted. Half the world went. And there was that Godzilla film, King of All Monsters, yeah. where, where like they, she said she unleashed the creatures on earth to cause destruction, and that would definitely decrease the popularization of people. Mm -hmm. There was that James Bond film where there was a bomb that was going to destroy half the population. So I think slowly they're trying to get us used to the idea of half the world's population going to shit. They actually came close with COVID. Let's, let's be honest, a lot of people died during COVID. Mm, of course. And then there, there's a lot of people online that believe that the corona and the vaccine was phase one in project depopulization. Mm -hmm. If the black suits come and get me, you know what happened. And I'm not talking about Will Smith and Tybalee Jones neither. <laughs> like, I'm just would, saying. Would you, would you, so you would make that like a movie? I mean, no, because there's already films that are already in our mind and that are training us to get used to that. Like, I feel like the truth is being spread through films. Like, they're really just trying to get us used to the idea of us being controlled, depopulization, apocalypse, and stuff like that. Stuff yeah. like I just never got that because it's like, why would why would the why would the government want to kill us? Because of population control, so we don't overexhaust our resources. We have water shortages that take place. We have so many forests being cut but that's down. That's not because of it is. It's not it's because no, of us. No. Not because of the, it's not because it's too many people on Earth. It's not because of that. So what could it be then, Cutter? Elaborate. It could be climate change. It could be all types of stuff. We are responsible for climate change. But that all right, okay. We're responsible for climate change, but but it's not because of depopulation. So why would they want to kill us? No, because that would dramatically decline how climate change would increase versus it decreasing because there's less people to put out greenhouse gases and we're still pollution. gonna be stupid people it's not as that you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying it cuts the world's carbon footprint in half like you know yeah I mean? but that, that's what i'm saying like i understand we we contribute to climate change but it's but i don't think like like the government is trying like first of all first of all I, just, I hate when people say like the government is all one like 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 the government is not all one it's not it's, it's different sectors and categories of the government and they don't even communicate with each other like that so Word, that's number yeah, one man. Right? it's that's shield with the superhero homies like shout out to my son <laughs> Captain America <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my little nigga Tony, R.I.P. to Tony. Yeah, bro, it's a lot of niggas yeah, over number there. Again. Two, and number two, yeah. Aim. Like, Shout out to them niggas. Yeah, man. yeah. I think, I think, yeah. For me, I, I just disagree with the whole like population control. They're trying to kill us. I, like niggas be talking about the vaccine, but go eat McDonald's. Like it don't make no fucking sense. I mean, you know like, like I agree with you on no that sense. too, cause it's like, like stupid. You drink soda every fucking day. <laughs> You have a better chance of dying from drinking soda than a vaccine. A vaccine is 
vaccines, some people look at vaccines as probably one of the greatest um, 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 scientific inventions of all time. It you is. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they decided to keep measles around, too, when they had cured it back in, like, 2001. Who? Who decided to keep it around? Scientists. No, that's not true. I there's, some people who don't, there's some people who I don't, don't... I can't speak fully on this topic, so I'm going to let my buddy Marshall take the floor on that. No, it's not even that. Some people don't, some people don't vaccinate. That's the, that's the problem. Like, even, even with, like, the COVID thing. Bro, like, fuck the vaccine. There's niggas that don't even go to the doctor, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yo, there's you know niggas saying? that like, ain't like, been to the doctor in, like, eight years, bro. You're it, supposed to go to the doctor every six months or five months. I try to go every year. I try to go once a year, but because I'm young, right? If you if you if you are an older person, yeah, maybe you should go to the doctor a few more times than like a younger person. But I think I think you we try to call me old. Nah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but um, I mean, but um, but yeah, but I just think I think I think yeah, I think some of those. Like when it comes to like vaccine stuff, I just you know I kind of like because it's, it's nothing there. It's a nothing burger. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I will say But I this. do think they can be good films around it. Like if you if you're just an artist and you yeah. just want to make something, but if like you really thinking that this is, I was like, bro, I don't know. I, I don't think see these it. conspiracies are like great conversation starters. Like you're you're like some of the best conversations I've ever had with people in life all stemmed from conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. I remember being in the studio with a couple of friends and we literally talked about everything from JFK, the aliens, Sasquatch, like, you know what I mean? All kinds of shit, man. Yeah. Like, so like, they're great conversational starters, but like I said, there is a thin veil of truth to everything. But okay, then, so like, what, is the, what is the thin truth that you, that you, like, what do you mean by the thin truth? So. Yeah, what do you mean by that? All right, so what I mean by that is that, like, they try their best to put the truth in our face, but also mold it around some bullshit. So what, what I mean by that? The vaccine. Like, yo, there's people that died from taking the vaccine, bro. Yeah. That's not, you don't know that. How do we not know that, bro? You don't know that. Yo, billion, you know billions of people took this vaccine. You mean to tell me that that because of because of uh, uh, because you know uh, uh, um, um, those millions of people, those millions of people died because they had COVID. They had the COVID virus. It wasn't so because also had to be the test subject to see if the vaccine worked. But those people didn't. But we, we but those people died. It's very likely someone died in that process of making that and if not that that was a part of animal testing which they're now trying to stop doing as well yeah but i'm not going but you can't say you can't blame it on the covid vaccine for people dying like i don't i just don't i don't i mean like when you get into that when you get into that like it's, it's first of all this this stuff is very hard to prove you know what i'm saying like that the vaccine because the only reason why you're getting the vaccine because you had covid because most of us had covid I heard it. I heard it. But um, yeah, um, it clipped a little bit. But yeah, most of us, most of us had the vac, uh, most of us had the the COVID vaccine. But yeah, there's certain people that probably like had like bad symptoms. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, but I mean, billions of people took this vaccine, and it seems like it was okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it seemed like it kind of like did it did did its job. Yeah. Do you agree or? No, I agree that it did its job, but it's just like, that's where that thinness would be because, you know, you still have to get to that point of understanding. And that starts from the experiments where things can go wrong and you make room for error so you understand how to not repeat that mistake again. And then from like that point, we can move forward to like saying, this is the vaccine that works unanimously. And right. what, what do you mean by works? Like, what do you, I, so what do you think a vaccine is? It's just remnants of whatever virus that's out there or whatever bacteria that's out there. Think virus though. And um, it's just enough that 
you feel sick to a degree, but it's not enough that it's going to push you over the edge. It's enough that you develop your antibodies. But that could be different for different, you know, viruses. But idiots think, oh, it's supposed to cure me. Oh no, that's what people think about vaccines. So when I, when, so so yeah, you're, you're right. That's that's exactly what a vaccine is. But like, I feel like some people who have these conspiracy theories don't even look and do research of what this is. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't they don't do that. They just have like these brain dead conspiracies and. You know what I'm saying? Which is very dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It's very Absolutely. dangerous when you when you sit there saying, Oh, this could be somewhat of the truth and and you know, that could probably that actually probably could save someone's life. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You know? Shout so. out to Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> hey, Johnson and Johnson. We're not doing that. We 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 <laughs> no boy. Yo, he that from Harlem, bro. That's that, 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 that boy from let's yo. let's let's nip this in the yo, butt right now. We're not this doing boy, the boy, the boy. We already know the boy who the boy is. That we, boy from Harlem. I'm so I'm just glad any, he from Harlem. We're not it. having any slander of Sean Combs on this show, but go for it, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the next one would probably be the most obvious, and that is harvesting adrenochrome from children. Uh, and the the rich PDF aisles running the USA, controlling the media and politicians, uh, only to be stopped by Trump, and you film that as like a fantasy horror. They already did it. It's called Monsters Inc. They had to use the fear of the children. That's true. To to get the gas. Bro, I be trying to tell people they hide the truth in these movies. They think I be bugging. They think I be bugging. But they hide the truth. <laughs> bro, <laughs> if the men in black come and get me and it's not Will Smith or Tommy Lee, <laughs> mama, I love you. Imagine it was Will Smith and he just said, keep my wife name at your mouth and then you forget. Word. <laughs> they, they kidnap you, man. They're going to say you back like in two seconds, man. They're going to be tired of your ass. Oh, oh my talking. mama. Yeah, send you to Hell Guantanamo yeah. Bay. All right, I got a few more. Uh, flat. I got earth. a few too. Just let you know. I got a few too. Appreciate that. Um, flat Earth as another version of Plato's Cave and the moon landing being fake. You know. They just did a movie with Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum about the moon landing. Which was ass. I didn't get to see it, but I read the reviews. Yeah, that shit was due to I heard. Don't watch that. Channing Tatum is one of the worst actors. He's he's gonna he's 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 gonna be one of the worst actors of, of our generation. Bro, he could maybe step in on Sesame Street for Oscar the Grouch, if anything. <laughs> um, all right. 9-11 being an inside job as an 80s exploitation film about false flagging. <laughs> uh, obviously, our generation can't do it, but someone who has to be like ridiculously far apart from that incident would end up doing their own idea of it since they'll have enough media to... Why do you think our generation can't do it? They'll consider it highly insensitive. Oh, Hell no. Do you see the memes on Instagram? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Fucking memes, bro. That thing is, is get out. They don't give a fuck about the thing. All right. Well, it they, the reason be a why big because budget. only because because it wasn't like some crazy global thing. It was like, you know, three thousand is a lot, but people don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see like people don't give a shit, bro. And it's funny because I see a lot of people go visit like the memorial, but like online, like people be like, like. I know. I've seen that webcam from Scotland where they would be making fun of us. They're like, ah, psh. yeah, they'd be old. They'd be old Dean. They'd be old Dean on the internet. Terrible. Uh, killing the person who cured cancer. That would make a great film because that's always been like a thing floating around. Um, Epstein's death. How that could be have happened regardless of. It's what we know it is, or what we know it is. Um, and finally, if birds aren't real as a comedic short film, since that was like the 
that was like the spoof of just the idea of conspiracy theories as of late with QAnon specifically. Birds aren't real? Yeah, it's a big thing on the internet where it's really just saying when you see a bird acting weird in public and it's just like this is a little too strange. How, how does it act weird? Like there's a whole thing where like a bird just flew into somebody's head and it walked away. Or the one where the bird's walking next to Putin and I guess they make him salute the pigeon and the pigeon just did this right back. <laughs> Again, I think you decipher and you dove through all of the bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of bullshit. Like, birds. Yeah. Being, like, come on, come on, come on. I like, mean, that one is much bro, more I like an obvious joke. All of them joke. is full of shit. I think all of them are bullshit. I think all of them are bullshit, bro. I mean, I don't believe a single one. Cutter, you had some, though. Huh? You said you had some conspiracy theories. No, I didn't have conspiracies, but I have, I think, I think, but I like the, the topic. I like the fact that there's, there's a lot of, like the ones you had was really good. I, I think there's a lot of conspiracies that could be very good movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I have one for you guys. What race is Cutter? God, he says God. nigga a lot, but. <laughs> Those two are not going to sit there and have no white niggas say nigga. <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> not me at least. I this nigga. What? But um, I also had the nine eleven conspiracy. Mm-hmm. I think that would be a great series. I think having like Dick Cheney basically be like, he's basically like a Rochimaro. I don't know if y'all know who a Rochimaro is. He's from Naruto, but he's basically like a dude that just comes up with like, like this trying to um, like brainwash. Like all all the different sectors yeah. of the of the government, yeah, and um, basically comes up with this ingenious plan, like some Hitler fucking plan, to to um, uh, like destroy um, America so he could become the new ruler, like an Ooh. absolute ruler. I think yeah. that shit would be like, and then like you have all like the because it was like it's like a, it's like a a, a five hour documentary. Of um, it's a new one too, cause I know it's a I know it was an old one. My my father I, I know that one too well, cause my father sold that shit. That nigga was selling that shit like it was crack, bro. That nigga made like thirty grand off that shit. I think the greatest conspiracy <laughs> theory of all time: all the politicians are reptiles, bro. Oh my god. I had a I had a I had a film like that too called Ultra Violent. And it was about like it was about like it was kind of like a, a Tekken theme. Like it was like 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 different types of like um, secret um, um, like they randomly pick like different um, like just ordinary people mm-hmm. and kidnap them to use as like their personal like like um, uh, a fighter. Like and an was, avatar. Or something. Yeah, like they can do whatever they want to them. Like they turn them into like. A superhuman or whatever, and they they go and let them fight. Yeah, but pretty, um, yeah, that's pretty scary. Yeah, that's some scary that's shit. Blurred, <laughs> and then my last one is actually like an Alex Jones one. He did like this film, um, basically going to the Bohemian Grove. Oh, where, oh yeah, yeah, where yeah. like all the elites the they go out and they out. have like they do. It's 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 they really have a ceremony. Nothing. Yeah, it's like a it's like it's basically. It's basically like um, Burning Perry. Man. Basically yeah, like Burning say, Man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's like an older version of Burning Man, but it's Burning Man and Tyler Perry for white people. <laughs> basically, yeah. that's what it basically. So is. I was thinking like we can do. We kind of like like I think it would be like a um, a like a like gory like horror, kind of like um, from the style like the Blair. I can't wait till that's over, bro. Style like the Blair, the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, we do it like that type of style. Oh, found found footage. footage. Yeah, and then we like have like, like all the elites, all the the, like the A list celebrities, like 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 we play like Will Smith, like all types of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it'd be, I think it would be fun because, like, we we can, (laughs) we can like, um, kind of like surprise, do like a surprise thing, like a surprise guest, basically. Everybody's like surprise guests. Oh, yeah. And you see like the different, like like Will Smith, he be, <laughs> the nigga be used as a dog or some shit like that. Like, I think that shit would be hilarious. That's true. But, um, you can get BBL Drizzy in there since he already has the owl 
and the Bohemian Grove's animal is the yeah. owl. Yeah. 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 I think that that would be fucking scary, man. Like you see like you he he flips the camera and you see like Drake, he has some big ass eyes, like they like they fucking like did like work on him. Yeah. That should be fucking scary. Man. I actually wrote a treatment for a horror movie about a 16-year-old kid who goes to his friend's funeral who died and they have to repass at the family's house. The family's affluent, they got a lot of money. So he goes to his friend's room and he finds like this device, it's like a watch. And he clicks it and then something happens to where everybody that's at the repast for his friend, their cloaking mechanism deactivates this nigga's whole family's reptiles. Mm. And then they basically lock the house down and go, we have to find this nigga. So now he's in the <laughs> house like, yo, I got to get away from these niggas, bro. That kind of reminds me of an H.P. Lovecraft story where it, the guy finds out he's like an amphibious creature and his family is a bunch of amphibious creatures too. But he doesn't know that until like the very end. Nah. But yeah. he goes to like a different town to find that out. Wow, yo, I always thought that would be some scary shit. Like, you go to your friend's funeral that you've known forever. You grew up with this nigga. Find some little watch. You click it. And then you just hear all these... Rrr! Like, you hear, like, these screeches and stuff like that. Yeah. You peek your head out your friend's room because you're in his room. These eight-foot reptile niggas is running around looking for your ass now. Like, oh, <laughs> That's bro. like some Resident Evil shit. Bro, I, bro, like... I had a, I had like a funny I had like a comedy like type funeral thing where like the like the the mother she got like she recently got these robot legs but then she died she had like a little heart attack right so when a nigga the nigga go up to the like the like the viewing or whatever he makes a mistake and turn on the robot legs oh god so the <laughs> so the, what in the week like, of Bernie's is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Know. You know what's funny? I had planned my funeral to be exactly like that when I was like oh 14. Oh my God. It's like just replace all my organs with hydraulics and prank everybody at my funeral. Yo, <laughs> speaking of Look. pranks, <laughs> one of the greatest pranks that I've ever wanted to do, I wanted to stage a fake funeral at a graveyard. And then two plots down, there's sofa dirt. But like the way you viewing it, like there's this funeral, and then there's the sofa dirt. I want people to be watching the funeral, but then in the background, a nigga coming out of the sofa dirt and starts walking like a zombie. Bro, I've always wanted to do that. Like, do you know how scary that a fucking be, bro? Like, you're at a fucking graveyard. Like, you think you're there at a real funeral and shit. The fuck is going on, man? Nigga, niggas is literally going to have a heart attack. It would be like the beginning of the Night of the Living basically, Dead. Basically, basically. More that's, people. I'm yo, crushed. that's where I literally got that idea from. I was like, yo, bro, people will hate me forever. But at the same time, I that's think that classic. shit would be so funny. 